going to look at simplifying order of operations with fractions, where there's a numerator and a denominator and lots of stuff happening in the middle. Well, with, with fractions in order of operations, it's important that we always simplify the numerator and denominator first. In other words, the top must be done and the bottom must be done and only reduce after the rest has been simplified. So for example, if we've got 4 plus 5 times 2 minus 9 all over the 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus 3, we need to first simplify the numerator and denominator. So let's take a look at the numerator the top, if you will. The 4 plus 5 times 2 minus 9. Now, order of operation says we must do parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract. PEMDAS. So first, the parentheses. 4 plus 5 is 9. 2 minus 9 is negative 7. And 9 times negative 7 is negative 63. That's the top. We still have to do the bottom, or the denominator. The denominator is 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus 3. And so following order of operations, inside the parentheses first, doing the exponents, so we have 2 cubed minus 2 squared is 4 plus 3. Continuing out the parentheses, 4 plus 3, now we have 2 cubed minus 7. And finally, outside of the parentheses, working the exponents, 2 to the third power is 8, 2 times 2 times 2, minus 7, and 8 minus 7 is 1. So the numerator is negative 63, the denominator is 1, so now we make it into our final solution, negative 63 over 1, and now we can reduce, well, anything over 1 is just that number, negative 63 is our final solution. Let's try another one. Let's try negative 4 squared minus 4 plus 2 times 3, all over 5 plus 3 times 5 minus 4. Again, following much the same pattern, we're first going to look at the numerator, or the top, which is negative 4 squared minus 4 plus 2 times 3. And order of operations says to look in the parentheses first, and multiplication must come before the addition. So we've got the opposite of 4 squared minus 4 plus 2 times 3 is 6. Finishing out the order of operations, 4 plus 6 is 10, so we've got the opposite of 4 squared minus 10. The parentheses are done, so now we can square. Be very careful when we square here. The negative is not squared. We only square what the exponent is attached to. So we've got the opposite of 4 squared is 16 minus 10. And negative 16 minus 10 is negative 26. That simplifies the top, or the numerator. We still have to consider the denominator, the bottom, which is 5 plus 3 times 5 minus 4. Well, order of operations tells us to do the parentheses first, so we have 5 plus 3 times 5 minus 4 is 1. Next, we multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, 5 plus 3, and finally, addition is last, which is 8. Now, we have the top, the numerator, the bottom, the denominator, now we're ready to look at the fraction, negative 26 over 8, and now we can look at reducing, dividing both by 2 to get our final answer of negative 13 over 4. We have our final solution. With fractions, 
simplify the numerator and denominator separately, then reduce the fraction.